If we look at the BDS as a political movement, it, we, we see that it is extremely powerful, it is extremely influential, and it gets into the headlines uh, of Israeli uh, media, mainstream media and alternative media all the time, uh, and that uh, signifies that the movement does uh, uh, trigger some kind of response from Israelis. That is actually its purpose. And uh, it's not just that the movement has become larger in its scope and in its uh, effectiveness, but also that some of the most deep dilemmas uh, of the, this movement have risen to the surface. Uh, I would say the most important thing is that there's always been an argument uh, and the people who opposed BDS, especially uh, critics of Israel who are uh, still opposed to BDS, used to say, but BDS will make Israeli society more extreme, more right-wing, more violent, um, and maybe uh, therefore it's, it's the wrong tactic or the wrong strategy and uh, 2014 has proved them absolutely right. The purpose of BDS is not to convince people, to persuade them, but rather uh, to, um, to create a debate within Israel that uh, the occupation, the apartheid, these are things that have a political and an economic cost to them, and that there is an international community which is uh, not blind to these crimes uh, and uh, willing to respond to them. Nobody believe believes that through boycott actions uh, Israel will become bankrupt and not be able to pay uh, its enormous defense budget, for example. The impact of BDS, it's not measured in money, it's not me measured in dollars or in shekels. It's measured in a pressure and in the awareness of Israelis. The academic boycott has expanded very much, but it remains a little bit under the surface. Mainly because um, both Israeli academics and international academics have, uh, are not making this public enough. So you have a lot of international academics in uh, universities around the world who have decided to endorse the academic boycott. They feel uh, uncomfortable cooperating with Israeli universities when they know that these uh, universities discriminate against Palestinian students uh, or discriminate in favor of Israeli soldiers or they use grant money to develop weapons for the Israeli army. So they prefer not to cooperate, but they don't make their reason public. So the academic boycott has become very widespread, but the message has not been fully absorbed. I think it's fascinating what happened in the Israeli media, where a lot of uh, media channels, privately owned media channels, not government ones, like the newspaper Yediot Achronot, uh, which, which just take upon themselves to become the ambassadors, the representatives of the Israeli government. And this newspaper, Yediot Achronot, has, has launched a campaign against BDS as if they are a branch of the Israeli government. I think a lot of Israelis uh, are uh, terribly misinformed about BDS. They think BDS is an anti-Semitic movement, they think that BDS is uh, somehow funded by Saudi Arabia and, and other such nonsense because of what they see in the Israeli media. But, uh, but also a lot of Israelis, I think, understand that this is not the case, that uh, they are starting to feel ashamed uh, to travel around the world. Actually, uh, a former Israeli uh, general just recently said, he, um, um, the, the commander of the army, said that he feels ashamed to, to travel around the world because of how Israelis are, are treated, and, and especially uh, Israeli soldiers for, for the, uh, who are suspected of committing war crimes. Uh, and when Israelis hear that, they uh, start to, to question this kind of mobilization and commitment to the national cause.